guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Killer Instinct. In the last episode, Aiden married and then murdered Juniper, and he and Blaine moved into this new home. Aiden has the Mansion Baron aspiration, and next on his checklist is to have a home worth 200,000 simoleons. Off camera, I did go ahead and build a pool, which did add to the value of the home. So now we are um, roughly 3,000 simoleons away from this part of Aiden's aspiration goal. And Aiden did get a wish to buy an object worth at least 500, 500 simoleons. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop into build by mode and buy one of those expensive paintings so that we can get the house, um, the value of the house over 200,000 simoleons. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there are several that are worth quite a bit. We'll just go ahead and splurge on the most expensive one and we'll stick it right here. It can't go there, huh? wonder why I can't go there. Let's try this. Uh, I guess it's that plant is in the way. Well, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Now, go back into live mode. And there you go. Two things down. Got his want, down, want done. And we got that check mark off on his Mansion Baron aspiration. Next on the list, he wants to purchase 20 columns. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he has 10 columns now, and he wants to purchase 20 columns. Where we are going to put 20 columns uh, is anyone's guess. I really don't see how we're going to do that, but we'll work it out somehow. And I just noticed that Faith Stalker Russo is at our door. Aiden is going to go ahead and say hello to her, but he's not going to spend much time with her. He's starting to get used to Faith's stalking ways. <laughs> In the back of his mind, he thinks that he might just kill Faith just to get her out of his life <laughs> because he's worried that she's going to start to catch on to all the people, all the women he is married have suddenly died right after the wedding. So, he, And she's always seems to be there whenever he kills them, whenever he murders them. So he's starting to get a little bit, you know, worried that maybe she's going to figure all that out. And he wants to just ignore her and go up and play a video game. But that's not really what he wants to do. What he really wants to do is go out on the town and look for his next victim. So that's what we're going to do. And Faith Stalker Russo will either just have to come with us or go home. <laughs> Where would he like to go? Let's go over to the gym. He needs to work out anyway. He would like to work out. He is not going to bring Faith with him. He's just going to make her go home. She's already worn out her welcome <laughs> with Aiden several times over. But at the gym, he's thinking he might run into some people and some Sims, uh, someone who might be his next victim. Now, in the past, he has shied away from considering the women who he knew lived in full houses with more than one other sim, such as Miss Dina Caliente here. However, he's starting to think, well, you know, he's killed enough sim, enough sims now that he's getting pretty good at it. And he's thinking, you know, if he can kill one, why not kill a whole houseful? So he's going to go over here and talk to Miss Dina. He's going to give her a funny introduction 
And see how she receives him. See how receptive she seems. Because he's at the point where... Did you not introduce, introduce yourself to her? Stop dancing, please. Go introduce yourself. He's a little bit shy right now because he has heard about Dina. And he's, you know, he knows she does live in a full house. It's going to be funny with her. Because he's noticed that the women seem to really like it when he pours on the charm and he tells his jokes. And it really helps him to put them off guard and really helps him to find a quick way into their heart. And she seems to be liking this. He's going to ask her if she's single. And Aiden has reached level 6 of the comedy skill. So that's good. Come on, he wants to come on, tell a joke about monkeys. And now some stupid idiot has butted in. And it is the weekend. Yeah, are you feeling bored or something? We're going to flash our crazy eyes at you. Do not butt into our conversation. He's going to ask her if she's single. Aiden has learned that Dana is single. He's going to go ahead and make a flirtatious joke to her. And see how she takes that. And he does have to go to the bathroom, but he's gonna he's gonna hold it. How'd she take that? He's gonna flirt with her. Aiden has learned that Dina is active. <laughs> he's gonna go ahead and give her a pickup line. And see what she does. He's gonna compliment her appearance. And he knows that this, that she is, he's going to go ahead and try to hold her hands. And he knows that Dina is not just any girl. He knows that she is walking away from him and she's leaving. Is she leaving? Well, he needs to go to the bathroom anyway. So he's going to go ahead and go to the bathroom and Dina has gone. But he knows where Dina lives. Dina has quite the rep reputation around town. And he knows that she may be a little bit more difficult to romance than the other women that he has met. Because she's got a girl. She, she's got a girl. She is a girl. I cannot talk today. She is a woman, a girl, a chick who's got it all together for the most part and he knows that and he knows that she may be uh, a difficult catch a difficult fish in the sea to catch but that's not going to stop him and he's going to go ahead and go over to her house and see if that's where she's gone and I believe she lives in Oasis Springs somewhere Yes, she does. She lives in Oasis Springs. So he is going to go over to her house and see if she's gone home. He is not sure whether or not she has a job. Dina could have a job. But he's hoping that she just went home. And guess what? She did. She just went home. So he's going to go ahead and try to kiss her and see what happens. Ooh, well, he was going to, but she has mysteriously disappeared. So he's going to go knock on the door. And maybe she is still here and did not leave. If she did leave, he's going to go ahead and see who's here. 
someone has to be here right it's her mother her mother's here let's see who else is here and her mother looks like her mother's leaving okay Nina is here hmm oops he's gonna talk to Nina a little bit because you know one sister to him one sister is just as good as the other sister that's how he feels about it that's just who Aiden is and if he can uh, you know if he can romance uh, Nina he's gonna do it whichever one he can build a relationship fastest with Aiden has learned that Nina is single he's gonna go ahead and offer her a rose and see what she does he's saying Nina you are so beautiful you are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen in my entire life and she took it she took the rose he is going to hold her hands Aiden learned that Nina is romantic he likes that he's going to kiss her hands he's and going to go in and give her that first kiss And here we go, and there's that first kiss. And he is sweeping this woman off her feet. And he's gonna go ahead, and he wanted to try to seal the deal and do a woohoo if he could. <laughs> oh look, she kissed him. Well, he's gonna go ahead and just pile it on and see if maybe just maybe they can woohoo and it looks like he has made his choice it looks like his next victim is miss nina caliente which means that he will have to get rid of every one of her housemates before he can take her simoleons and Aiden looks as, on this as a challenge. And there they go, doing the woohoo. For the first time. And Aiden is just looking around and he's thinking to himself that this house is probably worth quite a few simoleons. It's very nicely furnished. The bed he's in looks to be quite expensive. <laughs> and she is seeing hearts and love, and he is seeing simoleons. And he really stinks. So he's going to go ahead and see if he's going to take a cold shower. Actually, no, he's not. He doesn't want to get out of this flirty mood. He's going to go ahead and take a steamy shower and just stay in this flirty mood that's right and when he comes out he's probably going to ask her to be his girlfriend unless she runs away of course which she might do we'll see if we can't catch her before she leaves he's going to ask to be ask her to be his girlfriend if he can when she when he gets out of the shower Hopefully, she's still in a flirty mood. And here he goes. Dina just became Aiden's girlfriend. And guess who just came home? <laughs> and I'm guessing he's going to the shower. 
So Aiden is going to come up here. No, he, yep, he is. He's going to come up here, and after Don gets out of the tub, Aiden's going to give him a funny introduction, and he's going to see if he can kill him. <laughs> what he's going to do is, Aiden happened to find in a specialty shop he found a little gadget, and it's so perfect, so perfect that Don is in the bathroom. Because this a this gadget that Aiden has purchased will allow Aiden to make it look as though Don has been electrocuted. Yes, people, I do have a new mod. <laughs> That I found on Mod the Sims, where the the mischief trick with hand buzzer will now kill your Sims. And if you're interested in this mod, I will link it down below so you can also kill your Sims with the hand buzzer. But that's what he's going to do, and he's going to make it look like poor Don was trying to take a bath or trying to wash up, and somehow the the hair dryer. Fell in and electrocuted yeah. poor Don. And here he goes. Let's go. Oh, they're walking out of the bathroom, but that's okay. They're close enough. Oh no! Poor Don is being electrocuted. Oh no! And Aiden doesn't want to be anywhere near this when Nina realizes what's going on so he's gonna go ahead and go downstairs so that she will not suspect anything and there's poor Don <laughs> he has met his demise that's one of the housemates down and I think let's see maybe two to go yes her sister and her mother he must kill before he marries her. Because Aiden has no desire to move into this home and he does not want Nina's mother and sister moving in with him and Blaine. So there's poor Don. He is now dead. And let's see if we can put his remains in our inventory. Yes, we can. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And he is chatting with Nina. And he's going to go ahead and put these remains in the inventory. And he now has seven urns in his inventory. And poor Bob Pancakes came up first, his first kill. He has now killed seven Sims. <laughs> and he feels really happy with himself. So happy that he's going to give Nina a big old kiss. And there they go. And Aiden is just hoping. He's, th <laughs> his, he's thinking, you know, I know I'm going to kill you, but man, you are one hot sim. Did you see that burning red heart above his head <laughs> when, right after he kissed her? He's going to go ahead and just, oh, just pile it on and make sure that she is his and his alone. <laughs> there he goes, giving her that passionate kiss. They, he does not have a high enough friendship with her to propose. So what he's going to do is he's going to chat her up. And get to know a little bit about her. See if he can find out, you know, some of her traits. And build that friendship level up. He knows she's athletic. He's going to discuss interests. And their uh, relationship is going up. He's going to have a deep conversation with her. Oh, 
just annoy her. He's gonna discuss the latest video games. They seem to be getting along really well. Which make makes Aiden really happy because he wants to go ahead and propose to this woman. Even though he just met her a few minutes ago. <laughs> He's gonna talk about cooking. Uh oh, what happened? Did she not like something? He's gonna get to know her. He was hoping that another one of her roommates would come home. Aiden has learned that Nina is lazy. Okay. He's gonna go ahead and tell her an engaging story. And he's gonna go ahead and be funny with her. He's gonna tell her a dirty joke. And I think that by being funny, that also increases their friendship relationship. He's gonna joke about some aliens. And do an impression. And tell a funny story. And tell a knock-knock joke. And joke about fashion. He's gonna flash his crazy eyes. And their relationship is going up quite a bit. Let's see if he can propose to her. Yes, he can. He's going to actually propose to this woman, but they will have to have a little bit longer engagement than what Aiden is used to, because he does have to murder all of her housemates first. In his mind right now, at the very moment that he's getting ready to pose, I mean, getting ready to propose, I don't know what is wrong with me today, guys, but I'm just stumbling over my words like crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just cannot talk. But even as Aiden is proposing to Nina, in his mind, he's thinking of ways that he can murder her. And she is so excited. This man has really swept her off her feet. <laughs> and there she goes, leaping into his arms. Uh, Aiden is hysterical. Uh-oh, stop. We don't want him to die. What can he do to not be hysterical? Okay. I hope that doesn't mean that he's about to die. This sim is cracking up so much they're about to kill over. Try calming them down in the mirror. Okay. Stop chatting with Nina. I've never had this happen before, so... I don't know. I do not want him to die from laughter. And her sister is home now. Dina. Dina's probably not going to be too happy to find out that he's engaged to Nina. Is he calming himself down? He's still hysterical. That concerns me because I'm, do not mess with me. What can he do to get, he's gonna be mean to her. He's gonna yell at her. He's gonna insult her and he's gonna kill her. He, he could go ahead and electrocute her, but if he did electrocute her, that would look kind of suspicious to have two electrocution deaths just hours apart. So he's not going to do that quite yet. Is Nina asleep? Nina's asleep. He's going to find a way to kill her in just a moment. But first, let's let him calm down. Because... That is... Okay, good. He's feeling very energized now. And because he's feeling very energized, he is going to steal 
this, uh, whatever this thing is called, the fire, whatever, the sprinkler system from their home. And he is going to set Miss Dana Caliente on fire. <laughs> oh, me. Here he goes. Um, he's going to start a fire here. Hopefully, she will not be able to get away from this fire. Let's just see. Is she on fire? She is on fire. Now, he sees the fire. However, you know what? I hope he doesn't kill poor Nina. If he kills poor Nina, well, he'll be out a wife. So, he's going to go here. And he's going to just hope that poor Nina does not try to put this fire out and end up dying also. There she goes. She is on fire. It must have been the lamp. There was a short electrical short in the lamp cord. And it killed her. And thankfully, Nina is running to safety while her sister, Dina, burns to death. And Aiden is feeling very happy. <laughs> A happy Sim is feeling great about life. Being happy will make any positive emotion even stronger. And look how her hair turned a different color. Her hair was blonde and it turned black from the soot, from the fire. I think she's about to expire. I think she's about done. Is she? It's taking her a little while to burn to death. And here, is she going now? Oh, she's going to walk across the room. Hey, is she going to drop and roll? I've never seen her drop and roll. There she goes. She's gone. And Aiden really needs to come up here and put this fire out, but I'm afraid he's going to catch on fire too. And it's the fire is spreading. So he's going to come up here and try to extinguish this fire. And he's probably going to catch himself on fire in, in the process. <laughs> Hopefully not. Where you at, Aiden? Get your butt up here. You see me? You blow up? Does he not want to put the fire out? <laughs> He's saying, yes, Nina, I will save you from this terrible okay. fire. Read. Extinguish. And Aiden's like, I just now realized, hey, look, the Grim Reaper's putting out the fire. I've never seen that happen before. In as many fires as Aiden has started, never once have I seen the Grim, Grim Reaper jump in and help put the fires out. That was pretty fantastic. And now all Aiden wants to do is go to sleep. But first, he's going to put this urn. Poor, uh... Dina Caliente's ashes in his inventory. And she will be number eight, his eighth murder. And he's going to go ahead and say hello to his best friend, the Grim Reaper. And the Grim Reaper really is Aiden's best friend. <laughs> he really is. Well, I don't know. He's pretty good friends with Faith Russo. Who's still alive? So I don't know. He is really, really tired, and he's really, really. Oh, they took a selfie. Graham took a selfie with Aiden. Was that neat? And she is exhausted. Nina is exhausted. She is sleeping. Aiden's going to go downstairs and grab him something to eat really quick. 
I guess he'll just have a quick meal. He'll have some cereal. He'll have a microwave dinner. How about that? He'll have himself a microwave dinner. And it looks like it's time for me to end this part here. But thank you so very much for watching. I really hope that you are enjoying Aiden's story. And if you are enjoying his story, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, please leave me a like and please subscribe. See you next time.